What's going on guys? Yet another build tip video for you for your CNC router machines. Uh, again, I'm specifically building a Joe's CNC Evolution, uh, but this video will actually have to do with any CNC router uh, where you might use one of these uh, Chinese or import uh, spindle VFD kits. Uh, seems like most of them are pretty similar, uh, if not identical. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple places uh, manufacturing these in China, but uh, it seems as I'm looking at each of them, they're mostly the same uh, with maybe some minor variations on the spindle or the VFD. Uh, this one I got on eBay it was from a US seller based out of California, and uh, I believe the seller's name was Solar Gene S O L A R uh, J E A N, or uh, some slight variation on that. And the uh, reason I want to make this video, uh, just to give everybody a heads up, uh, they give you quite a bit in these kits. Uh, this one came with this cast aluminum bracket, uh, which seems pretty well made. Uh, the spindle, uh, you've got connectors for your wiring and your coolant hose. Uh, it does come with a hose and uh, kind of a cheap plastic pump. Uh, looks like it'll do the job all right though. Uh, and this one also came, uh, I want to say with an ER20. Uh, cowlet and uh, a set of uh, maybe eight or ten other cowlets and uh, the wrenches as well uh, but one thing it did not come with uh, hence the point of this video or one of the main points uh, it did not come with the screws that go in the uh, clamping portion of this mount uh, now these uh, I provided myself uh, the ears on these cast mounts are solid. Uh, you drill your own mounting holes however you want for your application, uh, whether you're drilling and tapping or I just uh, drilled some through holes, quarter inches, a uh, quarter inch each for these uh, one inch socket head cap screws. And I uh, mounted that directly to my Z slide plate like so, uh, three on each side. Uh, now these holes, uh, these are drilled and tapped for metric bolts and uh, the size you're going to want for these, uh, these top and bottom holes are 8 millimeters or M8s, uh, I believe by 1.25 thread pitch. Uh, I don't know if that there's a whole lot of uh, different M8 threads anyway, uh, but they are M8 by 1.25. And uh, the length I went with was 40 millimeters, although you could probably shorten them up a little bit. Uh, 30 would probably work all right, even 25. Uh, but the hole is deep enough to accommodate a 40 millimeter M8 screw. So uh, that's what I went with. And uh, now on this middle hole, uh, and I did just notice this after I uh, ended up using a pry bar to kind of pry this open. Uh, these clamps are very precisely made. Uh, looks like they're cast and then probably afterwards uh, they use a boring head of some kind uh, to really precisely bore these out uh, to where they're a very tight uh, tolerance on fit. So uh, one thing you will want to do, I'll also mention you want to go ahead and deburr the inner edges of these with a deburring tool, a file, some sandpaper or whatever. Uh, these work really well. Uh, as you'll probably have a couple of little minor nicks in there uh, that will really want to hold you up uh, due to how close the tolerances are on these. Uh, and then just take a file or some sandpaper and make sure there aren't any nicks inside uh, the body of the bore as those can tend to hold you up as well. But uh, once you get all that done, uh, this middle hole is actually for a jacking bolt. You can use the same M8. Uh, by whatever length you get uh, that goes in the top and bottom holes. Uh, just stick that in the middle hole, uh, drive it in. And although there is a tapped hole here, it's only six millimeters. Uh, so this will actually stop up against that. I know it's kind of dark. But uh, you can drive this all the way in like so. And uh, that'll actually open up this little clamping portion here uh, to let you get that in a lot easier. Now, unfortunately, I didn't realize that. I ended up using a pry bar, uh, which you can also do. Uh, but this is obviously what that is intended for. 
and then once you position your spindle you can loosen that up and it'll actually clamp in place uh, pretty tightly without any bolts although obviously you wouldn't want to run it that way so uh, once that's done just take the bolt and put one on the top and the bottom and uh, that'll give you a very nice and secure clamp for mounting your spindle and that's not going anywhere so uh, hopefully that helps you guys uh, again the kit comes with pretty much everything you need except for those clamping bolts for whatever reason uh, i really wish they would include them i know they can't be that expensive especially with the volume of these kits that they sell uh, but again if you do get this kit uh, that looks like this these are m8 uh, tapped threads and then that center hole is for a jacking bolt now, if you do want to use a smaller screw just in the middle, uh, an M6 uh, metric screw will fit in there. It is also uh, tapped on this back side, again, for a 6 millimeter screw. So you can use a 6 millimeter uh, socket cap screw that'll fit in like that. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Again, hopefully that helps you out. And uh, saves you a little bit of time when you order the kit. Uh, get a couple M8 by 40 millimeter screws as well. And uh, then whatever size for your mounting screws, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.